Hi guys, welcome to my entire YouTube channel and I have posted another skill video. Check it out and let me know if you guys have any questions. Be safe. Hey, my name is Mahalit and today I will be showing you how we can do IV fluid and IV medication administration. Uh, first thing I would do is I'm going to go ahead and perform hand hygiene and wear my gloves. Um, and I'm wearing my gloves and after that I'll tell you what I will be using my equipment um, I have my primary bag normicillin and I have my secondary bag I have also my medication that I will be giving to my patient um, and I have my medication label alcohol swab my the extension for my IV and I have two tubing, one is for my secondary and the other one is for the my primary. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and tell you what each one is. This is the spike and for the IV bag. And this is the drip chamber that we can see the um, the drips. And we can see uh, how, uh, the fluids that is going into the patient. And also we have, this is the roller clump. The roller clump will help us to control the flow. And also we have this, it's called white side or a medication port. So this is where we'll be connecting the secondary bag for the patient to get the medication that has been administered. And this is an adapter, it's a tubing to the catheter. So this will go to the patient's uh, IV side. And then now what we're going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and take this red tip out. Whoop. <laughs> okay, that was not expected. Um, so make sure you put it this way because if we're going to go ahead and then put it other way, everything is going to come out. So we always want to make sure we hold it this um, upside down. So I'm going to take off my pike spike and put it inside and now we can put it back and one thing you always have to make sure is that um to ensure this the iv container is at least a 30 inch above the the patient above the iv side so i'm gonna go ahead and feel um so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill my chamber halfway. So we always want to make sure we did it halfway. Okay, should be good. And I'm going to go ahead and um, see if the fluid is coming out. We see the fluid is going and I'm just going to close up for now and then what I'm going to do is so we're um, I have an order of uh, to administer to the patient the order given is like administering a fluid at 150 milliliter per hour so I'm going to go ahead and do my math calculation so uh, how I'm going to do it is like I have the flow rate I'm going to divide it by the time given times for um, the drip factor that I was given my drip factor is 15 so I'm going to do 150 divided by 60 150 milliliter divided by 60 minutes because it's per hour um, so I'll do it an hour is 60 minutes so I'm going to do it per 60 minutes and multiply it by 15 which it which will give me 37.5 and make sure when we do flow rate to round it to a whole number which is going to give us 38 drops per minute so I'm going to go and uh, <clears throat> excuse me so I'm going to go ahead and do um, do that first um, and my the math I got was 38 GTT per minute so and when I do that um, I make sure I count for a full minute so I'm going to See the time and I have my phone there and count the drop 38 drops per minute, okay? Okay, you can see that.
Okay, that's one full minute that I counted. And then now I'm going to go ahead and um, do my second uh, secondary bag. And I'm going to put this on the side. Okay. So I have the same thing, the spike for this one here. And I'm going to take the red tip out. And uh, one thing we need to do while we're making, uh, while we're administering medication is do not forget to ask the patient if they have any allergies and also make sure we follow the six rights of medication, right? Right, right patient, right name, dose, documentation, uh, so right route, right name, right patient, right documentation, and the right dose and the right time. So make sure we did our six medication, uh, six rights of medication and make sure to always ask for any allergies. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spike my fluid. Okay, and down. I'm just gonna make sure and oh, it's actually open. <laughs> I'm gonna close it for now and make my fluid halfway full. Um, can you see it? It's halfway full. Uh, then I'm gonna check if my tubing is correct, no air in the just always have to make sure there's no air in the tubing. Okay. And then for this medication, uh, the order given was amoxicillin 250 milligram um, IV to be delivered um, 100 milliliter uh, per over 15 minutes. So uh, my calculation is uh, what I did was I had my 100 milliliter normicillin. I divided by 15 minutes and multiplied by 15. 15 was the given drip factor for both IV fluid uh, on the medication. So I multiplied by 15 and I got 100 uh, GCT per minute. So that's what I'm going to do. And always we wanted to make sure um, we hang that medication on the above because we want that medication to go to the patient first. So we always have to make sure we um, hang the piggyback first, always the secondary before the primary. And this is where, oh, one thing I forgot to mention was that <laughs> I didn't mix the medication. So we always have to make sure to administer the medication. Uh, so, before I spike, I'm going to close this down. Yep, and as I said, I have my medication here. And always, as I mentioned earlier, make sure you go through the six rights of medication, ask for allergies. And I have my medication here. Take the tip off. Um, and this is where I'm going to be using my alcohol swab, like clean the tip of the medication. And then this is where the medication goes. So we have two of the one that is right is for the spike and the other one is for the medications. So we're going to go ahead and mix the medication before we hang the bag. I forgot. So good thing I catch it. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and mix the medication. Make sure you mix it really, like, really good. And mix, 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 mix. And now we have all our medication in this bag. And then this is when we're going to go ahead and spike. Because we have the medication mixed. We're going to go ahead and spike our bag. Uh, we checked, make sure halfway full. We check our uh, tubing goes right, 
yep i see something coming out so it's going good and then i'm gonna go ahead and hang this and as i mentioned i did my math it's 100 ml uh, the order is 250 milligram and 100 uh, milliliter per hour normal cell in over 15 minutes so what i'm gonna do is i will divide a, i will do 100 milliliter the flow rate divided by the time times the drop factor that it, which is 15. so that will give me a hundred uh, drop a uh, hundred drip per minute so it will give me a hundred gtt per minute i'm gonna go ahead and hang my piggy bag my secondary bag here and always to make sure we hang the uh, secondary bag above the primary and this is my primary bag because we want the medication to go first uh, to the patient and I have my extension this is when I'm gonna use it so as you can see my primary bag is first uh, it's up and then this is my secondary bag and then this is where I will connect I'm gonna take out the tip and always make sure we I'm gonna get my alcohol swap clean the tip and I'm gonna go ahead and connect this the secondary back to my primary as you can see and this would go to the patient IV side so this is and then yeah the last thing we need to do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and write everything in here it's asking the patient name the drug the room number the amount added every it had the flow rate and the start time so I'm gonna take one of this fill up all the my patient information and then um, I'm gonna put it on the medication that has been added into the fluid uh, that is how we um, do our IV uh, IV fluid and medication administration after I did all after I complete my uh, this I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and document everything thank you so much